Hey guys, it's Marie from Crazy Busy Family Life, and today I want to share with you a couple of the books that we're using in our kindergarten into first grade. So we're going to be using these throughout um, the tail end of kindergarten and into the summer and going into first grade. Now this first book here is um, about me from the My Turn to Learn series. It's a fun book of games, crafts, worksheets, and activities all about you. It's about the human body, ages four to six. Now it is geared for those younger ages and you'll notice as we flip through here that some of the crafts and ideas are a little bit geared towards the preschool level um, but others you know are a little bit more in depth so you can use this for multiple ages and I think that's what we're going to do now my son is going to be six in July so we are going to just pick and choose the options you know the the lessons in here and there are exactly how many 17 18 lessons total, um, starting with lesson one, the family tree. Now, I will probably skip this one only because I have a more in-depth one that we're going to be using um, in the next two years or so, maybe the second grade, um, that gives a more of a background into our own personal family history, and you know, because we do have some cool people in our, you know, in our family tree. So I wanted to do something more in-depth. So I will skip this particular lesson, but you know, it is a good you know, introduction for a younger child. Same thing with emotions. Um, like I said, my son is going to be six, so this is probably not, a, you know, something that we're going to be working on. But again, with the younger children, it, it's great for a preschool activity. Five senses is the same idea. Um, that's something that, you know, we don't really need to cover. But then going into lesson four, it talks about your eyes. And this is a great, um, option if I wanted to do a chalkboard drawing for this or have him copy this same idea. So I, I do think we'll use this for lesson four. And then like I said, some of the activities are a little bit basic, but you know, if you're use if you're teaching with multiple kids, this could be helpful. So it's just basically doing a, a pretend eye exam and that kind of thing. Lesson five is about hair. We may or may not do that one. Again, this is like a fun summer activity, so if it isn't necessarily challenging, at least it's something to do in the summer when you're stuck inside and it's way too hot to go outside. In our case, that's probably what will happen. So lesson five, more about hair. Now this one I'm really excited about. This is lesson six, and it teaches how, it shows, it talks about bones. Again, very basic, but the cool part of that is this, um, Ma making this skeleton from um, gallon jugs. So I, I'm gonna be, I think you need eight or nine plastic gallon jugs, so I will have to start collecting them. We don't use milk, but we do get sweet tea sometimes, so I'll have to start hoarding those at some point soon. Um, lesson seven is about lungs, and again, we'll probably do this one. And then let's do lesson seven. Lesson eight is muscles. And you know, if you do have older kids, again, this is a good introduction if you are homeschooling multiple ages. And there are other options. And I do have a, um, a, link, uh, a video that I did about teaching about the human body. So I will link that below so you can check that out. That it goes into a lot more depth, um, you know, if, like I said, if you do have an older student. So lesson nine, heart and vessels. 10 is skin, digestive system. So here, this kind of goes along with your little skeleton you make. You kind of create inside a, um, a digestive system. It's kind of neat. Food groups. Again, you know, you can you could actually use this as a base to teach about um, nutrition and all of that, and I think that's m probably what I'll do, and I'll do a video on that because I do I have been collecting um, nutrition and um, that kind of thing um, curriculum over the last couple of years, so I will do a a broader a broader lesson or unit study actually on this, incorporating this lesson twelve. Again, same thing with the fruit and veggies, meat and dairy that will all fall into the same. Grains, of course. Okay, and then the germs. And I had done a video a while back as well with the uh, Magic School Bus um, science kits that did germs, so I can link that below for you guys as well. You can check that out. But again, this could be done in conjunction with that, or if your children are not ready for that, just something just as basic as this. Lesson 17, health. And then lesson 18 is injuries. So, and then at the end, there are, you know, the 
you know, manipulatives that you'll need and different things. This is for the eye exam, hair, and there's some stickers there. So again, this is about me from my time, my turn to learn, and I will link it below. It's a specific website you can go to to order it. It's about fifteen dollars, and I'll put that link below so you can check it out um, if you're interested. All right, guys. The next thing that we're going to be working on, and we started a little bit, is handwriting. Now, I had been looking for something. Um, you know, I was looking at handwriting without tears, but I just wasn't loving it. Um, so. And we may come back to it, but right now this is works for us because we are very art-minded and interested in art and drawing and all of that. So this is the Draw Right Now series of books, or there is a series, I think there are about seven of them and they kind of get more um, difficult obviously as you go, but this is book number one on the farm. It's Kids and Critters and Storybook Characters, a drawing and handwriting course for kids. And basically the way that it's set up, it is a non-consumable book, so you don't you know if you have more than one child you can you only need to purchase one of them and it is essentially it gives you a drawing lesson so it'll teach you in this particular one how to draw a hen and then we'll have the um, the handwriting part of it hens live on farms hens eat seeds hens lay eggs and hens have baby chicks so your child will draw the picture and they will write the sent the sentences so it kind of incorporates the two the two parts and it makes it fun and there's some educational component to it in terms of science and all of that. So I'm going to just flip through here so you can see we've got a pig, sheep, a cow, and we have horses. I've always had a hard time drawing horses so this will be fun when we get to this one. Turkey, a barn, duck, goose, tractor, and there's some other questions. Okay, so then we get into the kids and critters section. And this is really neat. It's, um, this is for the topic is girl. So you'll make, you'll write the word girl and then you, as it progresses, you're drawing a picture of a girl. And there's your sentences there. And then if you look at boy, you write the word boy, and then that turns into a boy. It's pretty neat. And you can add, you know, it shows you, you can add different components to, you know, personalize your drawing. There's a cat. So dog, birds, swan, rabbits, and then here too, it talks about when you do actually draw these, you can add to your photos. So not only to your drawing, so not only are you drawing the main thing, but then you've got a background and, you know, the boy is jumping, um, jumping rope and there's your trees. So you, it, it talks about how to expand on your drawings as well. Storybook characters, we've got little red hens. This would go well with, um, we are, we do have the audiobook of little red hen. Three little pigs, you can kind of incorporate that with those stories, the three bears, the gingerbread boy, and again, there's more um, trying, you know, adding elements to your drawing as well. And thinking, critical thinking, where are the birds going? What are the ducks saying? Who is Nellie the cow? So, you know, so that's that. And like I said, I think there are about seven books and you can buy them individually or in the group. It's about $60 for the whole set approximately on Amazon, I think, and it's not always in stock. Or obviously eBay, um, you know, a lot of your local, I see these being sold on our local homeschooling pages as well on Facebook. And um, with this, like I said, you only need to buy one of them. So if you have more than one child, so what you can do is get the primary journal. This is the um, just a regular composition notebook, but it is geared towards grades K through second grade. And the way that, that it show, the way that it is um, set up, it's got the section for drawing. As you can see, he drew a hen here, and then started doing the um, the writing lesson. Again, drawing the pig hadn't gotten to the writing lesson, but that you know, in conjunction, so you buy this for a couple of bucks, and you only need to buy one of these. You just buy one of these for each child. 
so the final thing that I want to show you are these file folder games and these you can just purchase um, I got these on Amazon this is science and we've got social studies now I understand and I realize that you can find fo file folder games on the file folder the main website of file folders you know that the filefolders.org or whatever it is I understand that you can find them on Pinterest file folder games are all over the place but Here's the thing with me, um, I need I need things to be as easy as possible. I, you know, I have a lot going on and I know all of us do, and I don't like to spend a lot of time putting things together and copying and, and printing and all of that stuff and coloring. I just don't have time for that. And if you do, that's great, and a lot of people like the crafty aspect of it. But for those of us that either are certainly not crafty or don't have the extra time needed to put in to do it, I thought these would be a great option. Um, and it's basically just the file folder games, and it tells you how to put them together. It's very simple. Um, like I said, this one is the science one. And actually, rather than, I'll just flip through it so you can kind of see what I mean by the color. And I have one completed so I can show you that as well. But um, I'll just flip through here. And then I will show you the um, topics. So that gives you an idea of what the color and, and everything. But the topics... Um, so it tells you about the science vocabulary and concepts that you're going to, be, you know, your child's going to be learning and different ways to use them. But if I could find, oh, well, it's right here in front of me. So we've got um, healthy and safe, good for me. So that's about nutrition. Like I said earlier in the other book, the About Me book, you can kind of incorporate this section as well. We've got um, senses, same idea, animal babies, raindrops, water cycle, plant growth, uh, life cycle of a caterpillar. Um, it's a butterfly, uh, pond life, we've got space adventures, and then winter time. And so those are the topics in this particular book, and I will put the link, like I said, to Amazon below, and you can check that out. It is $19.99, so you kind of have to think about, is it worth, you know, thinking about how much I spend on printer ink, getting them refilled, and all of that. To me, it's worth it just to have this. Um, so I don't have to spend the time. I do have to obviously put them together, but it's a little bit easier. Here's the social studies one, and I'll just go to the concepts. Um, citizenship, places in the community, community helpers, common signs in the community, transportation, how goods get to market, holiday and seasonal signs and symbols, historical figures and symbols, um, past and present lifestyles and mapping natural landforms. And again, I'll just go ahead and flip through here briefly, just so you can see. Same idea, you know. So those are that. And I'm going to show you the ones that I have for us to do very soon since it is spring, and I'll show you what one completed looks like. Okay, so I've pulled, um, you know, some of the topics that I think we're going to be talking about. Because I do have, um, you know, some lessons that I have coming up that I want to work on with him. Um, so we've got seed to sunflower. And, you know, with spring that's really helpful and talks about all of that. And then the other one was caterpillar chat. And I was going to get a, um, probably get a butterfly habitat though. I'm kind of mixed. Here's let me just go off kind of off topic in a sense for a bit, but this is the the butterfly one. I'm kind of huh, I'm kind of torn on butterfly habitats, you know, where you get the little um you know, you you get everything in the mail and you have them and then you release them because they're coming from whoever knows where and you're introducing um butterflies that are maybe not native to where you live and they sometimes have genetic issues and it kind of messes with you know your own environment so I'm, I'm torn I, I love the idea of it but I don't love what they do for the um, or what how they could be detrimental to our, our our own personal local environment so if you have any suggestions and, and thoughts on that or um, you know or you just you don't think it's a big deal I'd love to hear what you think because that's where I'm torn I really want to get one and I, I love the idea of it. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm torn. I just, I just don't know. I don't, I don't want to put that strain on our, 
on our local, um, you know, whatever. So anyways, there's that. But let me just show you one of these um, completed. So I just have my basic file folder. This is the, um, this is the one that is the nutrition one. So you have your cover page, and then here's the game inside. It gives you the place to put a tab. And then the back, you go ahead and you tape here, and inside you have your game pieces. So it tells you, you know, you put your instruction piece goes in there, and then your little game pieces fit right in there. So there's the game pieces, the instructions, and it all just fits neatly in there. And you've got your super easy, all you need is a glue stick and some tape. Um, and there's your file folder. It's a total no-brainer, and I love it. So that is um, that is the final thing I wanted to show you, and that's it. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. It's just basically what we're going to be using over the summer and into, you know, up until the holidays probably. And if you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, check out my other videos, and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.